welcome back. All right, so we are on our preview night for this coming weekend. So we used to do these live, but now we're going to be doing them pre-recorded. Same thing that we used to always do, it's just we're doing them pre-recorded now because YouTube rewards pre-recorded content more than they do live. So here we are. With that, um, before we get into all of this, if you'd like to come work with me, suitsymposing.com is one place you can go, or you can go to shawnstorecuties.com. Now, I also want to show you this really quickly because this is going to come up in a moment, and that is our Cutie Boutique. So if you look up in the corner for the QR code right here, it's also going to be in the description box below. That takes you to our boutique. Now, let me show you what the boutique looks like real quickly because I'm going to show you also um, Yulia's suit, because we're going to talk about her in a minute as we go into the preview this week, because she is competing again, uh, in San Antonio, which is what we are covering tonight. So first thing I want to do is I want to show you our boutique. Ta-da! Okay. So when you come to our boutique, here it is, cutieboutique.shawnstorecuties.com. That's what that QR code is right there. If you scan or scroll down, you're going to see the suit stage style. Okay. Style is all of our retail. Stage is all of our posing. Suits is all of our suits. Click on shop suits. When you come down here, you're going to see suit packages, which is what you have here. We have suit packages going on right here. Those include more bonuses like jewelry and posing and things like that. Um, this is also posing right here too. Um, and then you come down here to our suits. So let's say we wanted Yulia's suit, which is the blue one that she's wearing. We're going to click on that. And this is the starting cost. Now, what that means is, is you're getting the, the suit with the connectors, the bling, all of that stuff. There are ways to um, upgrade all of these suits, but this is just an easy way for you to get started. So you can see some of the examples that we have here. You can play the videos and they'll, sh they'll show you um, what the suits look like when they get finished, that kind of thing. Um, now, also, if you scroll down here, I want you to notice this. This is something that a lot of people don't realize. If you click down here towards the end, what this is going to do is it's going to scroll through some more videos. So this is going to give you more suit examples and things like that. Okay. Now, this part right here, click on that. That's going to give you an idea of the coverage of these suits, right? Scroll over top of that. You're going to see the zoomed in version. These are the four different suit cut bottoms. Now, also, they've got the tops here. Now, if you click on that video right here, or I'm sorry, image right here, that's going to pop up. And it actually gives you the measurements in inches of each one of these tops. See that? So that way you can really measure exactly how big you want your top to be. And you can go in and figure out which cup size you actually need. And there you go. You can get it up and big there too. Okay. So if you fall, if you all fall in between one of these sizes, size up. Okay. Because then you can always pad it. If it's too small, there's not anything you can do about it. When it's bigger, you can pad it. Okay. So that's what I always tell people. Now, again, this suit price right here includes bling. Some people have asked about that because the first initial photo that you're going to see in the carousel down here is of the suit by itself with no crystalline on it. And the reason why it's like that is because I want you to be able to see the actual, um, the actual fabric itself. Hang on, let me go back. So see how that first photo there is the blue fabric. Same thing when you come up here, you're going to see the fabrics. So we got red, we got pink and blue and, and purple. Those are the fabric colors underneath the bling. But then when you actually click through and look at the actual suit itself, then you see the crystalline and the crystalline options. And again, once you purchase, it's not done and set in stone at that point. You actually can talk to me and tell me what your preferences are and what you like and what you want on your suit. Um, this is just a base so you can get it started. And then we customize it once you actually get in. So you've got your suit tops, you've got your cut coverages, and then we've got single and double strand connectors. There's always options to customize this more. Now, if we want to customize more, you are going to have to pay up charges based on what you want. Like if you want a back, uh, back strap or something like that for the, the rhinestones, we can do that. There's going to be a, an, an additional charge. So when you go through the um, process here, um, you'll go ahead and you'll add your suit to the cart, purchase. If you have any questions ahead of time, you can always ask as well, like what the what the upgrade cost would be and things like that. Because I understand you want, you want to know the full and total cost before you bought, buy something. This just makes it simple. If you get a simple base suit that doesn't need any customization and it's a bikini, we can get it done and shipped out the door within two to three weeks. Okay. So listen to that again. If you just go with the base suit, which is a beautiful suit, blue suit, one color stoning uh, with your straps and all that stuff that you choose here and just go with that. It's done 
and it will be out the door within two to three weeks. You'll have it in your hands in about in about three weeks, maybe a little bit more based on shipping times. We can't guarantee shipping times. Um, UPS ground is included in your shipping, uh, but you want faster too. So we do UPS because they are the most reliable carrier out there. So I wanted to go through all of that because the first person that we're going to talk about today with San Antonio is going to be Yulia. And she is wearing a suit that would fall into one of these upgraded suit categories because it's a blue suit with two crystal stones, uh, crystal. There we go. That's what I meant to say <laughs> on it. But you could order her exact suit from this site and we can customize it for you. Okay. So just wanted to kind of we just want to make it as simple as possible to get in and our client with us. Everything is customizable. Everything. Okay. Um, so with that, let's take a look at our list for this weekend, which is for San Antonio. We are getting very, very close to the Olympia qualification cutoff, which means these, these shows should start to get a little bit bigger. Um, they, they're, they're, they've already been big. Uh, and they, they are staying big. I'm actually kind of surprised this one isn't any bigger than what it is, to be honest with you, because I just assumed it would be. It's also in Texas, which tends to be really big shows. Um, I thought we would see more people in this that are going to be, you know, either trying to get an Olympia qualification or warm up for the Olympia. Uh, but we're not seeing that here. So uh, with that, there's several girls on this list that have been getting top fives and in that first call out. And it could be anybody's game here with a couple of wild cards thrown in, of course. So the first name on the list, like I said, we're going to talk about is Yulia. So we just talked about her. Again, this is the suit I was talking about. She does have an upgraded back strap slider too. That's an option you can put on there as well. Um, but yeah, so she plays sixth um, at the Battle of the Bodies. Looked great. We just talked about her the other day. Um, she just was a little bit too hard. So if she can keep her fullness going into the show and keep her roundness, and then also the conditioning aspect, uh, kind of similar to what she had in, um, uh, what's the, what's the last one? Wasn't it? Sasquatch in Sasquatch. Um, then she'll be right on the money, really beautiful look, uh, posing is right on all of that. It's just her conditioning was just a little bit too hard, uh, specifically from the back in this particular show. So she just, she just has to keep control of that and not burn through her food. I know she had a hard time keeping the food in her. Basically she was running through it really, really fast going into the show. So it's just a matter of uh, controlling that a little bit and keeping her fullness. And she could be very, very competitive at this show here. Um, obviously we're going to be rooting for her being one of our, one of our uh, winners here. She's a pro performer promise winner. So just so you guys know, also if you are an NPC competitor and you win your IFBB pro card in one of our suits, you then become a sponsored athlete for the remainder of your career. So that is what Yulia did right here. So this is like her fourth suit. I think that we've made her, I think this is her fourth suit. Um, and she's been sponsored since she won her pro card because she won her pro card in one of our suits. Next thing on the list is Marioli. So she did not do well in Mexico. Now I, I did review Mexico yesterday. Um, can't say a whole lot about this particular show because we don't have a lot of coverage. We don't have comparison photos. Uh, all we have is individual photos. From what I can see here, it looks like her conditioning was a little off. Her waistline looks a little bit thick. I don't think this is her full front pose. So I don't want to criticize it too much. Um, this is a new suit, new suit color. Not a fan of it. I don't think it flatters her at all. I think it's really hard, really, really hard to pull off this mint green. I know um, Jessica Wilson did, did it for a long time. It worked really well for her. And a lot of people are trying to copy that. And it just doesn't work. I, I'm not, I, I haven't really seen anybody where I thought this was the color for them, right? I mean, even with Jessica, I think Jessica looks better in the purple that she's wearing now. So um, this is just not, just to me is not, it's just not it. Um, as far, and again, as far as the conditioning is concerned, to me, it's like, it looks like her waistline's a little blown out. Um, I've always mentioned, I think she needs more shoulders and I would agree with that here. I don't think her shoulders match her bottom half. So I'm not sure again, in comparison to the other girls, what she looked like at this particular show. And I don't even want to really comment too much on her, on her shape and conditioning here, because again, I don't, I don't really trust the few photos that we have. Um, this could be a pose where she's getting into a pose kind of thing. She looks like she's bent a little bit. So, you know, who knows? Um, but she has been placing top five throughout the year. So the fact that she didn't hear and she was towards the bottom is a little bit of a surprise. Um, 
We'll see. We'll see what happens this week. We still need to keep an eye on her. It could have just been an anomaly. It could have been a weekend that she was off. Uh, it could have been a weekend because she was outside the U.S. She just didn't place as well. Who knows? Um, so we just have to see what she's going to look like coming up this coming week. Um, next, we have Christy, who we just talked about as well. She placed fifth. Yep, she placed fifth this weekend. Phenomenal frame, phenomenal shape, phenomenal look. Um, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. But I think she needs to come down a bit. Um, I think she still needs to be in better condition. Um, this, to me, this pose is too hard. She needs to relax this arm. This is really, this is like a figure arm kind of thing going on. So relax the arm, bring the hand down a little bit and just relax it, relax that shoulder, all of that. And that would be a lot, a lot better in this particular pose. Um, but really, I mean, what I, I just want to see from her is I just want to see her come in tighter. If she comes in tighter, she looks, you know, in comparison to everybody else, she looked like she had a lot of muscle, a lot of muscle in comparison to everybody else on that stage. And I think part of that is that she does have a lot of muscle. I think that's part of it. But I also think that she just wasn't, she just wasn't tight enough. If she could be a little bit tighter, I think this would be a better look on her. Um, just a little bit tighter everywhere. Not one specific place, everywhere, just all over. So um, we'll see. If she comes in a little bit tighter and that works for her, it could she could be very, very competitive. Which brings us to our next competitor here, which is Jordan. So Jordan placed 11th at the Olympia, uh, right outside that top 10. She was really fighting for that top 10 spot. Uh, and she came off of winning a ton of shows this past year. But she has not been on stage since. This is the last time she was on stage. So, you know, she's been kind of working in the background, um, just grinding away, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I expect to see a very good Jordan come out. Usually her first show out is pretty good. So she's banking on one of these last few shows that she can qualify. Uh, that's always a scary thing to do, but it's a, it's a confidence thing to do too. So I think that she is your front runner going in. She is the highest ranking athlete at this time going in. So I would assume if the cards fell right and if her conditioning is on and all those things, she is likely going to take the win here. Now, this could be a situation like Daraja last week where she comes out a little bit off and somebody could get close to beating her, right? So uh, the first show out of the gate doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be your best one, right? So this is an opportunity for somebody to get up here. And if they do beat her, they're going to get talked about. Just like we started talking about Jessica last week because she almost beat Deiraja. She only missed by one point. So the fact that she almost beat Deiraja, everybody's talking about Jessica now. So if somebody comes in and dethrones or almost dethrones Jordan, they're automatically going to get talked about. So with that, I think she definitely is your front runner. I think she's definitely the one to be watching here. And I'm curious to see what she looks like after having a full year off. I know that she was really run down going into the Olympia. I had some, um, some things going on and stuff with uh, her body and health issues and stuff. So hopefully she's all better with that. And we'll see, we'll see what she brings. We'll see what she brings. Um, don't want to comment too much on her physique because we haven't seen any of it. Right. So she's going to come out and hopefully shock everybody. Right. Um, Next on the list, we have Roxana. Roxana is an ex-Olympian. She has not been doing great this year. She did take third in Mexico. We just talked about her the other night because she took third in Mexico. I'm not going to go through her photos, really, because we already did talk about her yesterday. She just needs to be better conditioned. I would say get rid of that pink suit. Um, there's just some, some things she needs to fix with her posing, things like that. Uh, she, whenever you got somebody who has been to the Olympia, they are always going to be a threat. So I'm curious to see if she comes back a little bit better. She didn't do well in Sasquatch, but it's been two weeks since Sasquatch. So she's had the opportunity to get tighter. And if she's gotten tighter and she can fix a few things and take the critiques and build upon it, she can absolutely be a threat here at this particular show. So we'll see. And next we have Lizzie Martinez. So we've talked about Lizzie a lot. She hasn't been on stage since the Tahoe show. Uh, I believe she was second call out there. Maybe the end of first call out. Hold on. She was, she was seventh. So. Yeah, she was, I can't remember if it was eight or if it was six in first call out, but she was right in that, um, outside that top five. Um, Lizzie has on, on days and Lizzie has off days sometimes. I think that Tahoe was an on day for her. I think she just needs to get into the right lineup where she just can, she can punch, punch through. Um, sometimes where her issue lies is in her uh, lower abs, that kind of thing. Sometimes it's in her her back pose with her glutes and her legs balance. Um, if she can fix her back pose, that would be a huge thing for her. If she could fix her back pose. Uh, this particular show I thought was one of her best. 
And she's had a few weeks off now at this point. So maybe she's going to come back a little bit rested and this could potentially be her show to take. I think she'll be in the first call out. Um, how she comes in is going to determine if she's going to be in those, you know, those top two, top three, top four slots, or if she's going to be right outside of that. But she's definitely one to be watching here. And I have a feeling since she's had a little bit of time to rest and kind of relax a little, uh, she's going to come back a little bit better. So definitely, definitely be watching her. And last we have Nadai. Again, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that name wrong. I'm just saying Nadai. I think that's how, how, how it is. And die, I, I hope. Somebody tell me that. Somebody, when I see you, tell me how to pronounce your name so I, I say it right. Um, we talked about her last night. Again, she just won her pro card. She's been doing really well since she did. Uh, this particular show at Battle of the Body, she was a touch too conditioned um, for the lineup, specifically from the back. Uh, she needs to fix a few posing things. Not a fan of this whole bent knee thing going on here. Uh, I'd like to see her stand up a little taller to me. It just looks like she's kind of squatting a little, um, but little things. And then really where her issue is, is that, you know, the conditioning from the back of this show was a little bit too tight, but she also needs to grow some glutes, some upper glutes here. She's got a lot of leg, which is not bad for her shape. She needs that. She's got long legs. So she needs that leg, but she needs some upper glute in order to balance it out. Great taper from the V, v to the, the shoulders into the, the lower back. Beautiful taper right there. Um, you know, I just want to see a little bit more fullness into the upper glute, which I don't think she's going to get this year. Uh, next year, she takes a little bit of an off season. Absolutely can come back and really kill it with the, those glutes. Um, and I think that's going to really be the, the, the separator right there. Do I think she's going to win this show? Probably not. Uh, but she could still definitely be in that top three somewhere. If I if I was betting here, you know, I would say that your winner is likely going to be Jordan. Um, and then outside of Jordan, we're probably going to see Nadai. We're going to see um, Lizzie. We're going to see Yulia. And if Christy comes into in in good condition, we'll see Christy as well. In this particular show, Christy will be the oddball if she's not in condition. Like the difference is, is that in um, Battle, uh, Battle of the Bodies, your front runner, De Raja, was not in good condition. So because of that, girls that were softer got a little bit of a leg up just because of the way that they compared. You know, here in this particular show, that's not going to be the case. Uh, Jordan tends to come in right on the money when it comes to conditioning. She's never really too soft. She's never too hard. She's right down the middle. So you know, it's just going to be a matter of kind of trying to hit that criteria of conditioning as best each one of these girls can. You can't come in too hard. You can't come in too soft at this show because um, you're going to be up to, next to somebody who was almost in the top 10 at that Olympia and um, and was winning shows back to back to back last year. So that tells you that her shape, her frame, her conditioning, all of that is on point. Now, again, if Jordan's off a little bit, she's also similar to De Raja. Sometimes she can come in a little bit too soft on her lower half. Um, she kind of she kind of did that a few times last year, but by the end of the year, she was good. She was not having that issue anymore. So we'll see. I mean, it, it's it's she's she's got to come in on on point. She's got to come in on point. She's got a great shape and a great look, and it's just a matter of if she gets and nails that conditioning her first time out of the gate being back. Uh, so if you are here watching this right now, what I'd like you to do for me is comment below. Let me know who you think is going to take home the win this weekend. Uh, who's your, in your top five. Uh, and then when we come back and review it on Tuesday, then we will know who's right, who's wrong. <laughs> um, you know, personally, I would like to see Yulia do well here. Obviously that's going to be um, somebody that I want to root for because I do help her and I do work with her with her posing and presentation and with her suits and all that kind of stuff. So obviously I want to see her do well and I would love to see her qualify for the Olympia. You know, at this particular show, I think if she comes in with the right fullness, she could absolutely be in the top two. I, I think it's absolutely possible for her. So uh, we'll see. This is going, just like every other show this year, there's nobody coming in that you know is going to take the win. You know, even last week, you know, Daraja looks gorgeous. She looks beautiful, but she was off and she opened a door and gave somebody the opportunity. Now the opportunity wasn't taken because Daraja still did win it, but that's what we're talking about here. There is an opportunity here. There is an opportunity here. And if somebody comes in and they do beat Jordan, they are going to be somebody that's being paid attention to. So let's see what happens going into this weekend. Let me know what you guys think. Um, this was an easy one. We don't even have any wellness shows this weekend. 
There's a few other pro shows, but no um, bikini, no wellness. So this is the only show that we have this weekend to pay attention to. So everybody, be pay everybody, better, everybody better pay attention. There we go. I got it out. <laughs> and like I said, if you need a suit or if you need retail stuff, we have activewear. That's something else as we do this. Um, we're we're going to be rolling out more activewear. So pay attention to the Kitty Boutique. Anytime that I do a little video or whatever on Instagram and stuff, I'll let you guys know when we up, uh, upload new activewear. We've got new SKUs coming. Uh, we've got makeup. We've got all the fun things. So all that I am going to go for this evening. It is my birthday. So I'm going to go enjoy some birthday celebrations. That would be something that my husband would say. Celebration. Anybody watch King of Queens? If you watch King of Queens and you know, that's like how Doug Haffernan from that show says everything. Celebration. Uh, anyway, <laughs> show my age. <laughs> Just show my age right now. Um, so, Cutie Boutique right here. And, of course, I have to go ahead and highlight our Cuties Conference the stage as well. Early bird tickets are closing in the next couple of weeks here, and we are dwindling on the number that we have left. So, don't wait. Um, we are announcing new speakers and sponsors every day on Instagram. So if you're not paying attention, you need to, because you're going to see the people that are um, putting their handiwork into this as well and who you're going to learn from and all of the fun things. So with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night. Let's see how the rest of the, this weekend goes and who gets qualified for the Olympia, because currently nobody on this list is qualified. So that means coming out of this, somebody will be getting an Olympia qualification. It's just a matter of who. All right, you guys, we'll see you next week, Tuesday, to wrap up this show. On to the next. Bye, guys.